morning. Welcome back to Bristol Daily Homes. Hope everybody had a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. So we've got nine homes that have come on over the weekend. The first of which is at 9868 Airedale Court in Braemar. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's on 0.152 of an acre. $389,900. It's a standard sale. Almost 1,800 square feet above grade with a fully finished basement. So you're probably somewhere 2,500 plus square feet total. Um, you'll see that it's got a nice front porch here. Um, there is no garage on this one. Um, just parking spots probably in the back side of this house. Upper level hardwood floors, redone bathroom, and the AC was replaced in 2013. Hot water heater replaced 2012. Uh, vinyl siding from the outside, as you can see. You know, so the rooms are going to be a little bit smaller. It's going to feel more like a townhome as far as the space goes. But, um, you know, these I've talked about these um, uh, detached homes in Braemar is a nice uh, alternative to a townhome if you really don't want to be, you know, right up against another home. Uh, first time home buyers is especially perfect for you for, you know, price wise because most of them are falling under the 390 category. This one's towards the top end because the basement's finished, but you know, you've seen, we've reviewed ones for 360, 370, 380. Um, and it looks to be an overall a decent home. It's a perfect starter home for a small family um, in a great neighborhood of Braemar. 9662 Culloden Court in Ducharme. Um, this butts up. This is adjacent to the Braemar subdivision and the Safeway shopping center there. Uh, just under a quarter acre lot, six bedrooms, five and a half baths, 585,000, almost 50, uh, it's 5,519 total square feet. It's got a fourth level loft on this one. Almost 4,200 square feet above grace. This is a huge house here. Good size lot, two car garage, brick front. Um, it's got a couple pictures, unfortunately, not too many. And it looks like uh, the majority are all exterior picks. Um, hopefully, they're going to put some interior picks. It's hard to make a judgment call on the value. However, built in 2006 with this type of square footage, I, I think that the price is probably close to where it should be based upon square footage. Um, we'll check back and see if there's any pictures on this one. But this is a good option for um, those that need a lot of space in bedrooms and bathrooms. 13214 Ormond Drive in Dunbarton section. This is located within Braemar. This is an active adult, 55 years of age, an older community, 435,000, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 0.16 of an acre, 2,711 square feet, two levels above grade, no, no um, basement on this one. And there is a garage, two car garage. Um, it says that the seller is very negotiable and motivated. Um, and we'll see some of the picks. Final siding from the outside, hardwood floors in the interior here. Granite countertops, cherry cabinets, stainless appliances. Carpet upstairs, it looks like. Some interesting views from a camera. Almost looks like it was like a fish lens or something here. Um, fish eye lens. You know, it shows okay. Um, I think the square footage wouldn't be the most appealing thing on this one. Uh, inside, obviously, it looks like there's a little bit of stuff to do to make it your own. 435 seems like a decent price at this, uh, at this square footage. Um, and, and those looking to uh, retire and move into, you know, an active adult community, this is a great option. 12956 Benedictine Way. This is a townhome, 324999 uh, It's located off of Linton Hall Road and Benedictine Way. Um, we've got three bedrooms, three baths on three levels, one car garage, 1,520 square feet with the basements so is probably close to 2,000 square feet total. Vinyl siding on the exterior, hardwood floors, looks like uh, some Brazilian cherry hardwood floors. Um, standard builder grade kitchen, oak cabinetry, black appliances, Fort Mica countertops, nothing special there. Um, you know, this is obviously priced towards the top end of the range at 325. Everybody's heading up towards that level. Built in 2007. Uh, I'm going to say that there, there could be some better options out there. Uh, now, there's, you know, the subdivision over, uh, you got Pembroke. Um, you also have Stillhaven. And there's some other ones in Victory Lakes that are priced at right at 325, 335, 340. Similar square footage, if not more. Uh, and actually a little bit newer, so definitely some options at that price point. 13022 Tyree Way at the Villages at Saybrook, 399, 900, five bedrooms, three and a half baths, tiny lot, 0 0.098, 2,951 square feet, so right at almost 3,000 square feet. Um, it says $20,000 in recent upgrades, it's a one car garage. The big benefit here, once again, under 400,000 in Bristow, 
Um, really hard to find. There's not much out there as far as detached homes go. Uh, looks like we got granite countertops, stainless appliances. So the kitchen's been somewhat updated. Family room area, that's off the kitchen. Master bedroom, a vaulted ceilings. It looks like all the uh, spare bedrooms have vaulted ceilings, which is nice. Gives it the appearance of more space. And the rec room that's finished off downstairs in the basement, as well as another bathroom and bedroom. Um, so plenty of space inside the home at 3,000 square feet or right under that. Um, I think the price point's good. Um, the drawback is going to be a smaller lot, but I think that you know you can overcome that um, just by you know having at least a detached home for under 400,000. One two five four one Chippenham Court this is in Sheffield Manor subdivision, 474,900, 4,075 total square feet. Um, we've got over just over a quarter acre lot at 0 0.271, five bedrooms, four baths, built in 96, 2,829 square feet. It says new roof, new hot water heater, sump pump, um, and there is a home warranty that comes with this one, two-car garage, vinyl siding from the exterior, hardwood floors in the interior. You can tell that this home's been staged, nice uh, two-story family room there that flows through to the kitchen, nice catwalk that looks down. There's the kitchen. Backsplash, tile backsplash, granite countertops. Um, looks like a little bit of mix and match with appliances, mostly stainless steel. Master bedroom, huge, with nice walk in closets, master bathroom. House shows well, um, you know, at 474,900. Um, you know, they're pushing a little bit towards the top end here. Nice flat yard out back uh, with a nice patio as well. Um, but I think, you know, with the lot, you know, getting a decent lot here, 4,000 square feet, um, definitely one to look at. I think it shows well, pictures show well, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a lot of traffic. 10732 General Kirkland Drive in New Bristow Village, 459,990, 3,816 square feet total um, with 3,336 square feet above grade, 0 0.184 of an acre, four bedrooms, two and a half baths with a two-car garage off the back side of this home. This is a Preston model. Um, so I would say that the biggest thing, these lots are small and narrow. They go deep, uh, not as wide. Um, and it's a little bit odd. So some people don't like to have the garage on the back side of the home because you have to constantly be walking through your garage door and into the home. But outside of that, you know, you're getting some good square footage here. Um, I actually think this house has a lot of potential because it looks like the basement's just partially finished. You finish that off, you're going to have a lot, you know, probably close to 5,000 square feet. Um, there's the backside garage. See what the pictures look like here. Hardwood in the, the foyer entryway. Here is the kitchen. It looks like uh, maybe Corian countertops there. Dining room, office area. Master bedroom, which is like a football field there. Uh, many of the ones in New Bristol Village have the huge master bedrooms. They're almost too big. And there's the finished area that's downstairs in the basement. So a decent home. I think the price point's good on this one. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if this one moves relatively fast. It's built in 2009. Um, for the square footage, and you know, you're, I think that you're getting above grade. I, I like the price point. You do have to finish off the rest of the, of the basement, but right now you, you can move in and don't have to do anything. 8801 Howland Place in Kingsbrook Subdivision, 299999. Three bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths, 1,776 total square feet in unit. Brick front. Um, we'll go through the pictures here. Wooded view. Um, we've got carpet in the interior here. Kitchen looks to be a pretty basic kitchen. Doesn't look like really the appliances may have been upgraded to stainless. Um, let's see what else we got here. Dining room area, master bedroom with the bolted ceiling. Carpet and finished rec room downstairs in the basement. Nice deck that backs up to the woods there. There's a side, no fence, um, but you do have a brick paver patio beneath too. Two ninety nine seems a fair price for this. Everything's pushing towards three hundred number. A little bit less square footage than a lot of the townhomes that we reviewed. Majority are into that closer to 2,000 square feet range, if not more. Um, but good, good uh, neighborhood, and um, it's got all the amenities of the Kingsbrook subdivision there. 
9850 Earl's Ferry Circle in Braemar. This is a uh, patio style home, four bedrooms, three full baths. It's like a town home, um, but it, it lays out more like a detached home. 309,900, 1,976 square feet. It's only two levels, um, and you have two fireplaces on this one with a one car garage. Um, we've got uh, hardwood floors on the, on the main level. Here's the kitchen. It looks like there might be some room for some upgrades in this property. Uh, but you know, you're in the highly sought after Braemar neighborhood and at the price of 309, wouldn't be surprised to take quite a bit of action here. Uh, four bedrooms, three full baths. I know those want, a lot of people want the finished basement or have the potential for that. There's all the surrounding townhomes around there for the most part have basements, so you do have other options. So a big list to choose from guys here in Bristow for this uh, this Tuesday. Give us a shout if you'd like to schedule any showing, 703-596-0011. If you have any questions regarding any of the listings or subdivisions, give us a call, 703-596-0011, or through the website, contact us, bristodailyhomes.com. Enjoy your day, and we'll be back with you tomorrow.